Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now here you might have faced a challenge. You might feel that it becomes difficult for bigger numbers like 104. Let's say you ask me whether 104 is a prime number or composite number. Now if I start you know from 1 and if I have to continue till 104 trying to see whether 104 is divisible by each of the numbers or not then it, it is going to be a very tedious task. So it would become very difficult to decide whether 104 is a prime number or a composite number. So what do we do? So in order to solve this issue, in order to find out quickly whether a particular number is divisible by another number or not, we quickly introduce the concept of odd and even numbers. Now you might say that how is the concept of odd even numbers related to prime composite numbers. So we will quickly understand that but before that let us understand what are odd numbers and what are even numbers. Now even numbers are those numbers which are divisible by 2 and odd numbers are those which are not divisible by 2. Now what do we mean by divisible by 2? That means that number can be divided into two equal parts. That is the meaning of divisible by 2. Let us take examples. Let us consider a number 10. Now do you think that 10 can be divided into two equal parts? Yes, you can divide it as 5, 5. So this side 5, this side 5. It is a balanced where both the sides are equal. So 10 can be divided into two equal parts. So, and that, that is because 10 is divisible by 2. So if you divide 10 by 2, what do you get? You get the quotient as 5. So 10 can be divided into two equal parts. Therefore, 10 is divisible by 2. Similarly, let us talk about the number 2. Can you divide it into two equal parts? Yes, 1, 1. You talk about 50. 50 can be divided into two equal parts. Yes, 25, 25. So 25 plus 25 is 50. So basically, all even numbers are divisible by 2. So examples of even numbers would be like 56, 28, 100, 102, 110. So these are all examples of even numbers because these are divisible by 2. Now, how are even numbers? How is the concept of even number linked to prime composite number? Now, these even numbers will not be prime numbers. They can never be prime numbers. Why? Because the even numbers itself means that they are divisible by 2. Now, if they are divisible by 2, that means 2 is one of the factors. So, that means the number has more than two factors because every number has two factors in common. One is one and the other is the number itself. So, if two is also a factor, that means that number has more than two factors. Therefore, the number is composite. Now, the only exception to this is the number two. So, two is the only number which is a prime number and which is also an even number. So, remember this. Two is the only exception which is an even number prime number. Other than that, you the prime numbers can only be odd numbers. But again, that does not mean that all odd numbers will be prime numbers. That is also not true. So let us look at uh, the odd numbers and we find that the odd numbers may or may not be prime numbers. So let us look at some examples. Let us consider the number 7. 7 is not divisible by 2, therefore 7 is an odd number. 9 is also not divisible by 2, so 9 is also an odd number. Now let us see if both of these are prime numbers or not. So 7 is a prime number because it has only two factors that is 1 and 7. But when you look at 9, 9 is a composite number. That's because it has multiple factors like 1, 3, 9, so therefore it has more than two factors, therefore it is a composite number. So odd numbers can be prime numbers, odd numbers can also be composite numbers. But when it comes to even numbers, they are always composite numbers except the number 2. 
Now you might ask that if I am given a big number, for example, if I am given a number like this, 2140. So how do I know if this number is even or odd? Now there is a very simple uh, trick to find out if a number is divisible by 2 or not. So all that you need to do is you need to see the digit that is present in the ones place or the units place. Now this is the units place. This is tens place, this is hundreds place, this is thousands place. So observe the number, of, observe the digit that is present in the units place. If in the units place you have one of these digits 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So if you have one of these digits in the units place that means the number is even. That in fact that means that the number is divisible by 2. Divisible by 2 means an even number. So with this simple trick doesn't matter how much ever big the number may be you can quickly decide whether it is an even number and if it is an even number it is definitely going to be a composite number. So now finding prime and composite number has become little easier all you need to do one I mean, at least one step easier because now any number with 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 at the units place would be an even number and these even numbers are always composite. So you really do not need to spend time to say whether an even number is a composite number or a prime number because even numbers will always be composite number and the only exception is 2. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.